Hi besties. Oh, what's that? That's just my antidepressants. <laughs> Today, we're talking about them. This is something I never thought I'd put on the internet, but here I am, doing what I do, oversharing because I don't know. I just like to overshare. I don't see anything wrong with it as long as I set enough boundaries with myself. <laughs> Today we're talking about Lexpro, Escalatoprium, Ciprolex, whatever you want to call it. They are my anti-anxiety medication, as well as antidepressants. I don't consider myself to be depressed, nor did I feel like I was when I got on the medication. I was going through it though, I was for sure. I take these mostly for anxiety, social anxiety, whatever, we're gonna get into that. But today we are talking about my journey with antidepressants, how I got on them, what it's been like, and some actual footage of me starting them and continuing the journey. All right, so let's talk about why I started. I went through a breakup and I was going through it I was sad, yeah, but I felt like the sadness and um, just like the emotions that I had around the breakup brought on a lot of anxiety and the anxiety got really hard to cope with. So I started the medication weeks after and I did a lot of my healing before I started the medication. So I would say the first like three to four weeks of the breakup, I was doing a lot of healing. The week that led up to the breakup, Bro, months leading up to the breakup, I was already grieving the loss of the relationship. So when I started the antidepressants slash anti-anxiety meds, Ciprolex is what I'm gonna call it. When I started Ciprolex, I had already kind of gone through the worst of the emotions that came with this breakup. So it is not a cure for heartbreak. I will tell you that right now. It's not gonna just like magically repair your heartbreak at you. So don't take it just cause you're like heartbroken. Oh my God, I need something. And no, 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 no. It's not gonna just like, fix everything. So I've always dealt with a lot of social anxiety and I had taken Ciprolex years ago as a teenager, as a college student, as a university student, and it's always helped me tremendously with my social anxiety. And I felt like I wasn't meeting my full potential um, as a human, <laughs> as a social being, because I mean, I'm in the like entertainment industry, so you can't really be shy or socially anxious. I don't consider myself to be shy anymore, However, I did deal with some anxiety around like, like interactions and rooms that I wasn't familiar with the people in and you know, it got hard. So having this medication, I knew it would help me, especially coming out of a pandemic. Well, continuing to go through, but you know, coming out of a serious, serious pandemic, I kind of lost some social skills <laughs> and I wanted to get on it. So I did. And I'm going to show you the footage. So what you're going to see is um, me starting my journey with Ciprolex and I started off at 5 mg and then I upped it to 10 mg and I've been taking 10 milligrams since about June I would say maybe May to June all right guys so it is day one and I will be taking my <laughs> lorazepam as you can see right here um, you can pick it up at your local drug dealer slash pharmacist um, I'll just show you guys the little pill yeah, so let's do this. In all seriousness, it is day one. I'm on 5 mg, and um, the pills are 10 mg, but they cut them in half. So I'm doing 5 mg for 14 days, and then I will get into 10 mg, and then I'll probably keep it there. I'll check in if I feel it, when I feel it. It's day one, I don't have high expectations, but we'll see. Still day one, it's been about an hour and a half and I feel so, I feel sick <laughs> I ate breakfast um, nothing out of the ordinary I had like sausage eggs and toast I had coffee in the morning and I had water and that normally like if I don't feel good it just passes but like my tummy's not okay so that's just my update because I know that nausea is one of the side effects. So, I mean, I do remember last time when I did take uh, Lexapro, I, I experienced nausea for about four days. Um, and I've been on and off it a couple times. And every time the first like four or five days, like my stomach was off and then it just like settled after that. But we'll see what happens. All right, so it's the end of the day. And uh, my stomach has 
it's like settled but it hasn't like there's no activity but it's definitely like moving i don't feel nauseous it's like i don't want to eat something too greasy because i feel like it's gonna trigger it so um yeah overall my mood has been relatively similar to how it's been the past week or so it's day two and i feel okay mood wise i feel the same as normal i'm going through some things right now so i'm a little bit sad um i didn't instantly feel like whew, like you know happy and amazing like obviously it's not a magic pill um it's only day two but as for the nausea um okay so today my stomach feels more stable yesterday it was weak like it felt weird all day um today it feels like i don't want to eat anything gross but i also i'm okay like i haven't had any movement like it's been fine it's been okay it's just like i have cramps so that also could be what i'm thinking is nausea but it's i don't know i, I don't feel the greatest something that i've always felt every time i've like gone back to it i always get this feeling and that feeling is that when i yawn I feel like a two second nausea it is the weirdest thing i don't know how to explain it if you get that feeling you're gonna know exactly what i'm talking about but if you don't you're like huh i literally yawn and then as i finish yawning it's like i feel like this like nausea yeah i feel like this nausea like in the back i don't, I don't know how to explain it it's so weird but like if you know you know i don't remember that going away last time but I, it was a while ago it was 2017 that i was last on it so I don't remember um, I hope it goes away because it's annoying but it's not a big deal like if it doesn't it's not the end of the world it's literally two seconds other than that I feel fine my mind feels pretty normal no big changes yet um, day two okay it is day four and I had a rough day today because I've been sad so I mean like I'm not taking this as an antidepressant. I'm taking it for anxiety. I mean, it's not like I can like, pick and choose what it does to my brain, but I will say that like um, my feelings are still here. I'm still sad. Nothing's being numbed. <laughs> I cried, whatever, you know. Emotionally, mentally, I feel pretty similar to how I've been feeling. Um, no big changes since day four. Nausea's gone. I did not get sick today. I've had Pepto-Bismol on deck, did not take it. Yesterday, same thing, like, I felt like weird, like I said, but I didn't get sick. Yeah, today I felt fine. As for anxiety, things like that, I think I'm having a hard time with not recognizing my brain in anxious moments right now. Like, what I mean by that is like, normally I have like 100,000 thoughts and I feel like I'm having less intense overwhelming thoughts i feel like i'm able to okay so imagine this imagine this you're in a room filled with fucking papers everywhere papers are everywhere it's just a, a chaotic mess the papers are still there if i pick one up one at a time i can still you know see the papers that was my mind before chaotic fucking mess now the papers are in filing cabinets and i can pick one out and look at it and put it back and pick one out and look at it and put it back and i feel like my mind is slowly getting there it's not super intense but I feel like I'm able to focus on thoughts a little better than I was. That's it though. Like it's not a big thing. It's not changing my life yet. It's just there. So, so it's day five. I just woke up. It's like 7 a.m. Okay, so I haven't been sleeping. I don't know if it's related to the medication. I mean, I was on sleeping pills for about seven days and then I stopped and then now I'm taking these. So I don't know if maybe my body's just readjusting to not being on sleeping pills or if I can't sleep because of Lexapro. All I know is that like I'm having some some issues with sleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's been a few hours and okay, so what was it? It was like 7 a.m. last time. Now it's 11.09. I got sick. My stomach was not okay. Yeah, like my, my tummy was just, in, it was moving and I got pretty sick and another thing is that i noticed that like this is like pretty descriptive for when i was brushing my teeth i brushed my tongue and normally like you know it will i'll be like you know but today i genuinely felt like i was going to throw up after i brushed my tongue and i was sitting there like like literally feeling like i was going to and i had to sit on my bed for like two minutes and just like calm myself down drink some water and that's never happened I don't throw up. I literally never throw up. I throw the last time I did was like 
nine years ago i do not ever vomit um and nine years ago is because of alcohol so yeah i felt really nauseous today and i felt sick and um i hope it doesn't keep happening like i said last time it lasted four to five days two out of these days i didn't get sick so i don't know who knows but yeah i still have that weird yawning nausea wave and it's throwing me off but it's again it's like two to three seconds and mentally i feel like my brain is a little more sorted out um nothing crazy like if somebody this is a weird thing to say but if somebody were slipping me lexapro in my drinks every day secretly and i had no idea i wouldn't be like i feel different is someone drugging me like i wouldn't notice you know what i mean but only because i'm so aware of what's gonna happen to me um i'm able to pick out like the changes in my brain and i don't think it's placebo it feels very real but it's not like very intense so yeah it's the next day i feel the same i have no updates i feel the same tummy fine um mind fine i feel the same <laughs> i'm thinking that my anxiety is getting better Today is the first day that I think I've really spent out in the streets. Like I was downtown Toronto and had to interact with a couple people and I felt like I was not thinking about it as much as I normally do. Maybe it's placebo, but I don't feel like I was like, I don't know, I get really bad social anxiety and I, it didn't feel that intense today. And I forgot that I'm like on medication, like I completely forgot. Like you don't go around all day thinking about, I'm on medication, let's see how you interact. You know what I mean? Like. I'm just being and when I got home, I saw the pill bottle sitting here. I'm like, oh yeah, I took that and I realized that I didn't have much anxiety today and Yeah, that was pretty cool. So I guess that's my update today It's like pretty much getting on the end of the day and I feel good. So Yeah Okay, so I've lost track of the days, but I mean it's been almost two weeks and I don't feel significant life changes, but I definitely do feel better. I feel less anxious. I feel like I don't overthink as much. Even when I'm driving, like I notice that like I'm a lot calmer. And um, I don't know, like my anxiety is just not as bad. My paranoia has kind of like, it's not like solved, but I don't know. I feel like I'm a little bit better, but again, if I didn't know I was taking these pills, I wouldn't notice the change in my life. I'm just hyper aware because I'm looking out for changes. You know what I mean? I had some wine the other night and I also had coolers. Don't judge me. And I definitely feel a little more like of a buzz sooner than I would um, off medication. I don't suggest heavy drinking while taking Lexapro. I don't really know how that works. I, I don't drink heavy anyways, but um, I was fine. I didn't like pass out, I didn't black out, nothing, like I was fine. I have not gotten sick at all in, in days. And I guess that's it. The yawning thing, let me, let me test it out. Slight nausea when I yawn, such a weird side effect. Um, not as bad as it was. All right, so it's been two weeks and I've started my 10 MG. I've been on it for about three days and I am feeling a difference. So I'm taking the whole pill now before they were cut in half. Okay, so it's about whew, like th four weeks, four weeks into Lexapro. I have upped my dosage and I didn't get any sickness. Um, I don't even remember. I haven't given an update in a while because I just, I was feeling the same. So there's no point in updating you being like, oh, I feel the same today. I feel the same, you know. Oh, the yawning thing, it's still a thing. My social interactions I'm finding are a lot easier and I don't think as much as I did. I just go with things as they come to me i'm more present i'm not so like focused on the thoughts in my brain so that's nice i'm also t doing therapy alongside taking this medication but a lot of my overthinking has chilled out which is nice so i went from 5 to 10 mg and that seems to be enough for me so i'm happy about that so i will keep you updated in a few weeks maybe two or three weeks or so and let you know where i'm at mentally oh i'm getting a phone call so I felt a few things, side effects in the beginning. I'm gonna be real transparent with you guys. Diarrhea. Not fun, not fun at all. 
it happened it wasn't cute um for the first four to five days that would happen i would feel a little bit of nausea every time i would yawn um i felt like i had caffeine for the first few days sleeping was a little different for the first few days all of my side effects pretty much went away after like a week or so feeling the effects of the medication very subtle they're very subtle for me but i did feel it within a few weeks your libido i believe that's how you pronounce it your sex drive goes down for me i feel like personally it's not terrible when i took it years ago it was non-existent now it exists but i've had many friends that have taken it and they've had little to no sex drive so just keep that in mind does it help me absolutely i feel like i reach a newer level of potential using this medication and when i'm talking about this i'm referring to my social life it's just so helpful i find that i overthink way less when interacting with others my social anxiety is weird because i'm actually a pretty outgoing introvert i don't really care what people think about me i'm really talkative i like talking to strangers i like oversharing like i said like i have no problem like talking to people my problem is like my thoughts consume me um and my paranoia so i'll get there but my thoughts like let's say i'm like, like at a coffee shop interacting with a barista i'm like so hyper aware of like what are my eyes doing what's my nose doing am i staring too much at this person's face oh do i look like i'm staring and do i look like i'm overthinking do I, it's, it's like a whirlwind of thoughts i literally look normal to the person but in my mind i'm just like i'm making too much eye contact let me calm down and like people can see my face changing sometimes when i'm overthinking and then start thinking about that i also think about like how did i walk into this room like is my leg bending too much like is my arm moving from like, this is little things bro that nobody notices my mind is just so focused on these things and i find that that goes away with this medication for me like i don't know how everyone's experience is but for me that inner dialogue it's kind of disappeared mm, it's lessened significantly I would say if it was at like a 90% before, it's at like a 10% now. Like, yeah, that still happens to me sometimes, but barely. I would walk into a room and I would automatically feel just like everyone's eyes were on me and I would be hyper aware of how I'm moving, how I'm walking, how I'm looking, how I'm blah, 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 blah. Does my voice sound weird? Did I laugh weird? Now, I don't really think about those things, which is really nice. So there's that. Also, I get extreme paranoia um when i'm walking alone when i'm home alone when i'm just doing things alone i feel like everyone's gonna kill me i feel <laughs> i just get like this weird paranoia like i would literally come home and when my roommate wasn't home i would like check all the closets and check everything to make sure i was alone that nobody was like hiding and i would hear a noise and i would panic and i would feel like just so anxious i i was really anxious and paranoid to a level that is just completely not normal so that has gone away it's gone away i would say it's gone away which is so nice I, I just feel like i'm living so much better now my quality of life has significantly increased since taking this medication and i am so grateful for it i love it i would say pros and cons pros my life is amazing cons the libido being lowered is annoying oh drinking i have to be careful when i drink now because it does not mix well with alcohol so my limit has changed you need to learn how much alcohol you can drink with the medication if you're going to choose to drink you're not supposed to drink if i'm being honest you're not but what you do with that information is up to you i still drink i irresponsibly sometimes do not take the pill when i know i'm going to drink because sometimes it gets me really sick i threw up three times in the summer i haven't thrown up from alcohol since i was a teenager i don't do that because i know my limit in the summertime it happened three times which is embarrassing and it's not fun i, I always made it to the toilet but it, it, it's something i'm not used to so i was like whoa why am i getting sick after drinking this much this never happens it's because of the medication so you need to learn your limit if you're going to choose to drink you need to be responsible don't do what i do and not take the pill i'm going to stop doing that but um that is a con it is very annoying yeah i mean the pros like everything that it says it's going to do it's done for me so I, I don't even know how to get into the pros but if you have questions comments this is my current self speaking to you on my experience with ciprolex it's great i love it no complaints but if you do forget to take it for a few days you will feel off you'll probably get some stomach issues for a few days like i like i said diarrhea <laughs> um and you're gonna just feel a little sad 
if you don't take it responsibly. So make sure you just take it daily, try to take it at the same time every day and be smart about it. And if you're gonna get off it, go to your doctor. And if you're gonna get on it, go to your doctor. And if you have questions about it, I can share my experience with you, but actual questions that you, I might not answer all of them because I'm not a doctor. I will answer what I can, but go to a doctor. That's my advice to you. In summary, I do love my experience with Ciprolex. I am continuing to take it. I actually just got my refill today. I got an advance of seven pills and they're gonna send me the rest of my pills um, in a few days. So yeah, I'm continuing to take it. That is the only medication that I'm on. Um, I've also taken some ADHD medication. So if you have any questions about like other ones and my personal experience, I can share that. But I, again, I would just go to your doctor to get some real professional advice on the medication. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.